In May of 2013, I was devastated by the unexpected and unwanted news. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Initially, I could not grasp how this twist and turn in my life could have happened to me, but it did. Some used to ask me how I was doing, and, I, and not being ready, I would say something like, okay, only to be told that I look good. The thing about Parkinson's is that it's like an iceberg. What you see on the surface is only a fraction of what you don't see below. In my case, some of the outward symptoms, such as walking slowly, dragging my feet, etc., may be readily noticed at that moment, while some of the worst symptoms are wreaking havoc, such as smaller, not legible handwriting, diminished voice, problem swallowing, difficult sleeping, depression, anxiety, and decreased memory. In discussing treatment options with my physicians, in addition to research I've done on my own, I had to accept the reality that Parkinson's disease can't be cured, but just controlled. But there are practices I can implement to fight back against PD. I now take part in rock steady boxing twice a week because I found that exercising as part of a group provides wonderful support and encouragement from my PD family. Since keeping my voice and swallowing muscles is so vital too, I take part in loud crowd once a week and I belong to the Parkinson's Choir, the Parkinson's, which rehearses once a week. On a very important note, PD is not a condition which just impacts me. It also involves my wonderful wife, Fran. We just celebrated our 45th wedding anniversary. She is my caregiver, my angel, and what affects me affects her. We are a team against this terrible disease. I know she lives with the daily source of underlying grief and fear. Parkinson's disease never takes a day off for the patient or for those that love them. Every day, Fran observes subtle losses to my independence that people who see me on an occasional basis do not. In closing, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Dr. Roger Rossi and the dedicated staff of, at the JFK Johnson Rehabilitation Institute for their incredible support. Thank you.